Hi, my name is Erin Martin. I'm with the Northern Guilford High School Varsity Science Olympiad team, and I want to describe my two designs for my 2015 and 2016 air trajectory events, which won first place. In my 2015 design, I decided to use a racquetball, which is more massive and is less affected by air currents. In my 2016 design, I used a ping pong ball. The barrel for the racquetball is a chain link fence corner post, which fits it perfectly. The barrel for the ping pong ball is a one and a half inch PVC tube. Most designs have a mass falling onto a two liter bottle, but I wanted to have more volume of air going into the tube due to the heavier projectile. In the five gallon bucket, I have a beach ball that holds approximately 18 liters of air. Underneath it, there's fittings inside, which is just a sink drain, and it goes to a couple fittings underneath of PVC, and that attaches to the chain link fence corner post. I fill the air bladder using a trash bag full of air by cupping the opening around the thing and inflating it. Using a lidded container, I can adjust the mass, and using this nail and with drilled holes, I can adjust the height the mass drops. Using magnets on a plexiglass wall, I can adjust the angle and determine the angle using the string on the protractor. Let's see how it launches. Although I won regionals in 2015 with my design, I decided to go with a 4 inch drop tower that fits into a 4 inch PVC T that sits on a toilet flange. Reducing bushings and a threaded air elbow allow me to redirect the air into the barrel. To help improve accuracy, I designed and 3D printed a laser sight holder that just sits on a cuff around the barrel. In this design, this mass is the piston that compresses the air in the drop tower. I constructed this mass using heavy metals to fit perfectly into the drop tower so it compresses as much air as possible. Know the eyeball on top. It hooks into this S-hook that is on the bolt. The bolt can be threaded through any one of these holes to adjust the height that the mass is dropped. The S-hook will hook onto the eye bolt and when we release it we yank on the string releasing the mass. I use this hook to load the mass onto the S-hook inside the drop tower. This mass is used to hold down the entire cannon. Let's load Check our sight. Three, two, one. There we go.